In the previous lesson, we talked about smoothing that can smooth and correct the issues when we uh, rotating the joints. The delta mesh is more uh, advanced mode of smoothing. <coughs> Give you two example. For example, I skin and join this cylinder, select that join and rotate it. As we can see, our problem occur here. Uh, when we use smoothing, it is a smooth whole object and deform our object that we don't like that, but it's here. We correct the final way with uh, <coughs> delta mesh. Holding con holding shift, select the object, holding shift and assign the delta mesh to the cylinder. And in important, it is in a hierarchy that it have to be after a skin. And as you can see, it corrects our issues. Okay. And the important point is it does not deform our whole object, this smoothing whole object. It maintains the deformation of the object, the position point, and just uh, correct our issue that in bending. Going to its settings, we have the object. <coughs> You can change the strengths of the deformer here. Here, iteration. If you have, if you need more power, more bendiness, you can increase or decrease the number of the iteration. Right click to go default mode. And here is the smooth view. If you want to, this common behave like a smoothing deformer, you can smooth it like a smoothing deformer. Here, the tangent mode, we have lots of mode here. I want to go very mathematical uh, behind that, but if you have a uh, very unnormal mesh deformer or anything, you can change them to better good result. The default is edge. But a smooth type is important. If you deforming or correcting the issues of the model that has that all of its polygons are similar to each other, exactly like this model, you better use the fixed. As you can see, we have a better result. For another model that has different uh, size in its polygon, some of them are big, some of them are small, you have to use proportional. So in this mode, we are using fixed, and of course, fixed calculate more uh, faster. The pin border point, I want to example, give you this example I'm going to change that joint here as you can see the joint is exactly at the border of these points if I rotate it as you can see we have a problem here and here as you can see we have a problem it's go uh, dismissed from the center of that border Select the cylinder, holding shift and assign the delta mesh. Of course, the hierarchy is important. Bring it down to the skin. Go into its settings and no, first join that. And as you can see, we have a lot of problem. The bend will be rotating position in the center of that. Go into the delta mesh and select the pin border point. As you can see, these issues will be fixed. Okay. It pin the bone to the center of that point in its best way. Okay. And if you set all of those settings, you have to initialize that and all of the settings will be off. And it is calculate. You can release it or after that you can change the settings. So initialize, record all of those information and calculation in object. And if you, mm, your work done, initialize it. Okay. And also we have a tag in a rigging tag. We have a delta mesh here. We're reaching to the rigging tag. I will explain the tag, delta tag there, but it's also its settings similar to the main uh, comment. And we have a strength map here. 
a string and or and you can affect morphs okay this is a very interesting correcting deformer called delta mush hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release